Right, good day. Today we're going to look at writing, especially question 1, report writing. Before we look into that further, we need to look at certain, several other aspects of writing, namely selecting, summarizing, and synthesizing information, which are very pertinent to question 1. So what are outlines? You've probably heard, used, or even created outlines for different types of essays. Okay? Even report writing requires you to have an outline. So basically, outlines are like a blueprint of your writing as they are the summary or breakdown of main or supporting ideas. The more details that you provide in the outline, easier the writing will become. Okay? Just like an architect who uses blueprint to organize the details for plans, okay, you will use the outline for the same way for your writing. Outlines are very beneficial when it comes to organizing information for writing because it puts ideas in a logical order. It shows the relationship between ideas, material, and evidence. It also provides you a summary of main ideas and supporting evidence. You can format your outline in a variety of ways depending on the type of work that you have or that you complete. However, it is always beneficial to determine the purpose of your writing. In this case, you know that you are going to write a report. Therefore, you need to be aware of the information that you are planning to select. All right? In every situation though, especially a report, you should aim the following when you create an outline. List the ideas, information that you would like to include in your writing. From that list, organize information into categories. Okay. Arrange those categories then into uh, sections or subsections. Then finally, format information into logical order. The next part of writing is summarizing information. So what is summarizing? Summarizing a text or distilling its essential concepts into paragraphs or two it is a useful tool as well as a good writing practice. Now, why do I say this? Because when you summarize, it has two aims. One, to produce or reproduce the overarching idea or the main ideas in a text, identifying general concepts that run through the entire piece and express these ideas using precise and specific language. Now, as you may know, in report writing, you will use specific language to write or to present your evidence. Okay, this is to show that you understand the question, you are able to convert non-linear text into linear text. Okay, you must be able to make decisions as to which type or which concepts to leave or to omit. Okay, the third part of the information or the third part of writing is synthesizing information. Okay. Although at its most basic level, a synthesis involves combining two or more summaries, synthesis writing is more challenging as it might first appear because this combining or this combination must be done in a meaningful way and it must be able to produce new information. Now as we have, as I have explained earlier, okay, in report writing, you need to have the ability to analyze and synthesize. Okay? Synthesis is important because it shows that you understand the evidence of the nonlinear text and you are able to transform that into new information. The first step in synthesis is to have at least two sources. Sometimes it will be or most of the time it will be in the text okay the second step in synthesis is annotating and analyzing the text okay this involves close reading what is close reading it means you are reading with a purpose and you are able to differentiate or choose information which is a pertinent and b relevant to the report that you are writing the third step in synthesis is to recognize traits or themes or similar ideas that might be present in two, the two texts that you uh, synthesize. Okay? So basically what I hope is that 
this short video would be able to give you a slightly better understanding on the first step of writing which is to one select information number two what you call you are able to summarize the information and most importantly you are able to synthesize information now for further exercises i will include this in the what you call a google classroom and hopefully you'll be able to look at it thank you